Costa, and welcome to Res Style. My guest today is Janet Mashoni, and she's a musician, and we're at the Native American Music Awards. Tell me about how excited you are with all your new adventures. I'm really excited. I've got some great new music coming up and a, a new change in direction for me, so it's something different. And tonight for the NAMIs, I'm doing two new songs, special guests, so it's going to be a, an exciting time. I'm, a, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm thinking about the first time I met you back in Albuquerque in 1999. Woo. And this morning I'm thinking, this is really the evolution of Jana. It is. I mean, I've seen myself grown, you know, I've gone from a girl to a woman and I've seen myself, you know, go through this journey. And it's, it's a wonderful time for me because I'm discovering new things about myself and, and my music and it's always evolving. But I always want to keep people interested. I don't want them to think, oh, well, we're just going to see Jana do the same thing. I want to always keep people you know, on, on the edge a little bit and, and because I think that's what people want. They want to see something new and different and exciting. And so, but it's still me. You know? It's still the core of me. Jana Michelle is there and, and, and how I'm true to myself and, and my music is positive. And that's what I want it to be, you know? positive and have a, have a great time. When I first met you, you were just Jana. When did you decide to, mention, <laughs> to add on Michonne? Well, Jana seemed, uh, you know, because people are like, well, you can be like Cher, you're just a one name wonder. I just felt like Jana Michonne, first of all, it has more of my native heritage with Michonne, and that was a given name to me. My uncle actually gave that to me when I came of age, you know, when I was 16. And I felt like it was something that just sounded a little bit more credible and more definable. Um, there's a, it's, you know, Jana's a great name, and there's other artists like that, so I kind of wanted to separate myself. So it was more of that evolution, and that's part of my journey, you know, if, since 1999. Right. It's just, even my name's changed. <laughs> <laughs> so. And you've also taken on new avenues because you're going into movies. Tell me about your debut. Oh my gosh, this is finally coming out. It's called Raptor Ranch, and it's kind of a horror flick, but it's like a Tomb Raider meets Jurassic Park. So I basically fight dinosaurs in Texas with my bow and arrow, native chick out there doing her thing. But it's it's a current movie, so it's, you know it's current times. But it's a fun movie, you with know. Lorenzo Lamas. With Lorenzo Lamas. Holy, he's kind of hot. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you think so? <laughs> it's like, oh, will you do a movie? Yeah, I'll do a movie with Lorenzo, no problem. So you know, it, it was. It's nice to be able to do fun things like that and being asked, and and I'm looking forward to you know doing more movies. Um, once my new music is done and everything, I, I do want to venture into that. But I wanted to get the first one out and, and have people, you know, it's, it's fun. It's a fun movie and that's what I'm about. Deep in the heart of Texas. Three people going missing in three months. It's the bloodsucker Chupacabra. The teeth marks indicate a very large predator. So are we talking about a canine? Sure, the dog is about 10 feet tall. A small town girl. I just want to get out of here and become one of those famous singers. Finds a mysterious ranch. <laughs> what the hell was that? That there's coming from crazy Dr. Kane's place. Some people say he's growing 20 foot meat eating emus up there. Talk to me about Jana's Kids. Jana's Kids is in its, oh my gosh, 13th year um, since we first started. I've been giving out scholarships for uh, seven or eight years now. Um, it's, it's my great, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's a nonprofit organization. I help Native kids, you know, with scholarships and education is important to me. Um, I felt it was important for me to get my college degree and, and get an education. Even though I'm a musician, I feel like it's something that, you know, Knowledge is our power, I always say. And um, you can't take that away from someone. So I want to provide kids with that opportunity. And so I get funds, and I also put money back into the foundation for my shows. So every year I can provide you know, one or two scholarships a year. It's, it's small, but I'm still trying to grow it. It's, every year it gets a little bit bigger and bigger. So Where can people find out information about Jana's Kids? On my website, um, janaskids.org, J-A-N-A. 
S-K-I-D-S.org or JanaMashoni.com. What do you have exciting coming up in the future? Um, I just uh, got new music. I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's a new venture for me again. I got the new, new movie and um, got another exciting uh, opportunity in the gaming world. Kind of doing some music for uh, games and it's geared towards teen girls. Kind of like a Harry Potter, you know, kind of things like So it's, it's different things I'm going into. I'm expanding my enterprise. What would be some good advice you could give to other young native girls who want to follow their dreams? It's really about trusting in yourself and, and knowing who you are. And, and a lot of times, and it takes a while to figure that out, but at least know the core of who you are and really work hard. That's the thing. It's, it's, people don't know how hard it is, at least in the music business, but even in anything, you have to really, really work really hard to, to get where you want to go. But you do need ed education and you just have to have that passion and finding that passion. Everyone has a special gift. Whatever that is, small or large, everyone has it. So it's just tapping into that and, and believing you can do it. It's really that simple. If you can believe it, you can do it. That's my motto. And that's what's kept me going for these years. And, and I'm doing what I love, you know? So if it works for me, it can work for anyone. Tell me about your culture and where you're from. I'm from North Carolina, and my heritage is Lumbee, uh, but also Tuscarora. And the Tuscarora, I, I don't know much about because um, my mom, you know, kind of taught the culture of the Lumbee culture. But you know, we we have 50,000 members, and you know, we're still str struggling for federal recognition. So you know, anyone listening, just it's great to get support from other tribes too. Just vocal support, you know. It's nice to have other people come together and help us because you know the. Uh, a lot of people in the community need help and as I'm always about wanting to make people know you know that that we can all come together and help each other um, so I'm very proud of, of my tribe but I'm also it's nice to just to be native it's cool to be native where's your dog <laughs> he couldn't come Iswa couldn't come but um, I have another puppy her name is Roxy and she's a little miniature Dotson, oh. short hair. So um, actually, it's long hair, but she's just short. Um, she's just sweet. So I, I just I want to have a, a big farm with just tons of dogs and animals. And my other venture, and, and it's funny that you mentioned my other venture I want to get into is helping animals. I'm really big. I actually um, I don't want to give it away yet, but I do have something that I'm starting a foundation that is kind of helping towards, you know, you know, with animals and, and because animals don't have a voice and there's a lot of laws out there that are not, um, not enough to protect animals. And so that's another passion of mine. But that's slowly get into that. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, find time to brush my teeth. <laughs> in between the evolution of Jana. Yes, in between the evolution and brushing my teeth. Uh, you know, so that that is something that, um, you know, as I'm moving towards different things that I, I do want to get into that. So if we keep track of JanaMashoni.com, we'll be able yes. to see that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you for joining me. Thank you, Kim. Kimberly Acosta, Red Style on Indian Country TV. Thank you.